Hello YouTubers, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on June 22nd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update and as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun as we did report that large M-class, almost X-class solar flare that came from the cresting sunspot region on the bottom left-hand side. You can see that bright flash that was the near X class solar flare. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. This is where we will see the flare and as well plasma filaments erecting from the Southern hemisphere and a solar prominence in the Northern hemisphere. Lifts away, looking at outgoing. This is where we saw a large plasma filament take off from the sun, creating a CME. We have an active and Earth-facing 10 sunspots right now to talk about. Let's have a look at all the events. Plasma filaments, northeast, southeast. And then right there on the left-hand side, near X-class solar flare, M8.9. So large solar flare did produce a very large CME, not in an Earth-facing direction. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, this is where we can see the darkened regions, which are the coronal holes. And there is that M-class solar flare. Coronal hole in the northern region. And slightly building in the equatorial region, getting ready for an Earth-facing event. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide. Thank you all for watching and checking in. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Having a look here, 171 angstroms. This is where we can see our heliosphere in action and 10 active sunspot regions. Looking at space weather conditions, we are under an R1 minor radio blackouts can occur. 477 kilometers per second solar winds. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, you can see those solar flares just recently. A couple large C-class solar flares near M. Proton flux slightly elevated today. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 460 right now. Let's have a look at our magnetosphere in action, showing our pressure planes, showing the amount of pressure on our planet right now from the increased solar winds. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing that large CME taking off from the M-class solar flare set to give us a glancing blow 23rd into the 24th. So that's tomorrow and into the day after. Also reporting another large flare, creating a CME, and that was from the cresting incoming region of our sun. Having a look at LASCO 2, showing all of the energies taking off from our sun for the past two days. Large CME taking off from the northeast region right there. That was that large plasma filament. And there's the M-class solar flare and most recent solar flare cresting in. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're sitting at about 240 earthquakes according to USGS in the 24-hour period. Quick glance around the world at activity. And we did see an increase in activity through the quiet region of the Mid-Atlantic. Saw a 5.5 earthquake, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, after the 4.8 central region as well, 4.5 here, northern mid-Atlantic ridge. 4.3 earthquake reported here in Italy, Tremiti, Italy, as well a 5.0 earthquake here reported Iran. 4.7 earthquake here, Myanmar, and a 5.5 there, Indonesia, north of Krakatoa. Quiet through the Philippines and Western Pacific Plate right now. And then we get to the Tonga region. 
5.7 Levuka, Fiji, 553 kilometer depth. As well, another one here, 567 kilometer depth, 4.8. Some pretty deep earthquakes through the region. This is the most active region right now. Tonga into New Caledonia. Expecting something larger and shallower to come. 5.0 earthquake there off the coast of Japan. 4.5 Kuril Islands. And then we get up into Alaska where we see an increase in activity. Atka, Alaska reporting a 3.7. And as well, Petersville, Alaska 3.3. But many other minor earthquakes to report through the region. North American plate, nothing major to report. Notable earthquake there, Tennessee, 2.5. As well, Nixon, Texas, 2.7. Largest through Northern California and Idaho, 2.8. Continuing activity there through Puerto Rico. South American plate, way too quiet. And then South Sandwich Islands did report a 5.2 earthquake there in the southern region of that subduction zone. And let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. As we did see a sizable 6.4 earthquake in the Gulf of California, as well a large earthquake in Tonga region in the past seven days, but increasing activity and lots of deep earthquakes here through Tonga as well up in Japan and Philippines. Much love everybody and just stay aware and prepared. Have a plan and be ready if you are in an earthquake prone zone. This channel is all about staying aware and prepared with the latest events on our planet. Hashtag no fear here and much love everybody. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Nevada's Ruiz in Colombia. As well, Popocatito in Mexico. Many eruptions over the past couple days there. Mayan in the Philippines. Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Semeru in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador. So that's about eight volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 49 that are active and erupting across the world. We do have Tropical Storm Brett who is heading straight west through the Central Atlantic heading towards or south of Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, large low pressure systems in the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere right now, very vigorous, moving into Australia, gonna be some windy days ahead of you, overlooking Europe and Africa, Russia, you can see a large low pressure center spinning across Central Russia right now, stormy conditions through Central Africa, and stormy conditions through France, and up into Western Europe. Strong system moving in. Let's have a look at the air quality index right now. This is the forecast as we have quite a bit of SO2 in particular. It's coming out of Popocatito, moving into the United States, and as well, Hawaiian Islands from uh, Kilauea. Lots of SO2 coming out of Kamchatka, Eastern Russia. Quick glance here at the rest of the world for SO2 emissions. Stay safe and healthy out there, aware and prepared. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates here with daily events. Now let's get to weather here. Forecast models for precipitation and storms. We do have a low pressure center moving in Thursday into Friday for Central Europe. Daily evaporation rains through Africa. Heavy rains and stormy conditions through Myanmar and India as a low pressure center just jammed and stuck up in there 
through the Mongolian mountains, overlooking the Atlantic, huge high pressure ridge enveloping most of the Atlantic right now. Strong low pressure center moving up into Greenland. Also watching Tropical Storm Brett as it moves northward, but it's going to get swallowed up by the high pressure ridge and then torn and thrown up the eastern seaboard of the United States. Overlooking North America, South America, two notable low pressure systems here developing, going to bring some extreme weather to the United States and as well through northern Ontario and then eastward into Quebec. Then long-range forecast here, it looks like a cyclone is developing. Eastern Pacific, breaking up the west, or the west coast of the United States. Doesn't look like it's going to make landfall. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand, and parts of the Southern Hemisphere. Some pretty strong systems, and as I said, some very windy conditions through Southern Australia. In the coming days, huge battle between the highs and the lows. And then watch that low get sucked in from northwestern Australia to bring in a severe weather event. So stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show today. If you did, don't forget to give some love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.